So can this $25 meat thermometer replace $300 in thermometers? Let's find out. All right, guys, welcome back to Greenhorn Barbecue and Beer. Hey, if you're new to the show, my name is Todd, and we are delighted to have you here today, spending some of the time out of your day to watch some of our videos. So folks, before we get any further into the show, if you could subscribe, hit that bell so you don't miss a thing. You know, it's not like we're peddling unapologetic political ads. So today we're gonna to be trying out this Smartro ST54 dual probe meat thermometer. And full disclosure, this was sent to me to review and I gladly accepted because I really think there's a lot of good products out there and you guys deserve to know about them, especially when they're affordable. So as of this videotaping right now, you could find via Smartro's Amazon store and I'll drop a link down in the description right now this Martro ST54 for about $25.99 thereabouts, you can get a good condition used open box item for $5 less. And I've seen these go on eBay for as high as 35 or 40 bucks, but I think you're paying too much at that point. So first off, I wanna say the, uh, the packaging looks really efficient, really good. Not that that matters much. But there's a lot of good information just on the box alone, which indicates they're not trying to hide anything here. Um, and honestly, I don't know uh, what country of origin the manufacturers are from. It does say made in China, but I really don't know who designed it. So the packaging is very nice. It's got some dense foam in there to protect all the components. It has a nice set of instructions with a warranty card. You simply make an email or phone call or visit their website, and you get a three-year warranty with this. Now, that's a pretty good warranty as far as I'm concerned. So overall, first impression... It is kind of lightweight. It does have a plasticky feel, mainly because most of the components of the unit itself are plastic. It has a, I believe, either a brushed aluminum or stainless steel front fascia. So the first thing you're gonna ask yourself is how do I power this unit? So you're gonna notice on the back that there's a compartment for three AAA batteries. Uh, I would recommend, if you haven't already, get yourself some rechargeable ones. Although I suspect uh, they must last pretty, pretty long. It has a fold-out little stand, uh, which I think is pretty handy. It comes with a selector for either Fahrenheit or Celsius. It also includes a count-up, count-down timer, or a cook mode, or off. So, also, I like that it has several magnets on the back, so you can attach this to the side of an oven, the stand of a grill, uh, anything but really hot surfaces or curved surfaces you might have a hard time um, with that. It also has a little triangle, little notch right here. If uh, you want to hang it with a nail or something like that, I kind of noticed that's there. I think that's what it is anyway. So it does have a large LCD display. It's about two and a half inches by 2.1 inches or you know two and a half by two or so. Um, it's well lit when you turn it on and uh, it's easy to read. So when you first turn it on, you know, you're going to get that little beep and lets you know that it li it's alive. You do have a food selector uh, LCD touch buttons at the bottom. You can select some chef inspired preset temperatures based on the type of meat you're cooking, or you go all the way to the right and you can actually custom enter any target temperature that you're looking for. Um, the count up timer goes up to 999 minutes, so I think you're gonna have plenty of time for those long cooks. And you could also count down. So it does come with what I think are two really nice IPX7 commercial grade stainless steel 6.2 inch long meat thermometers. They have a temperature range of well over 500 degrees, including the spring mechanism that uh, is actually a very nice thing to have. The cable itself, which is a stainless steel 304, uh, woven type of sleeve is actually resistant up to 700 degrees. So if you're putting this on your Weber and this line accidentally gets across some of the coals, it might be able to last for a while. Now, what I believe is a fairly universal jack here is not water resistant or heat resistant, so you want to take care of the end of this thing very carefully. Now I noticed it's the same type of jack that the fireboard uses, and I suspect possibly other types of 
meat thermometers as well. I haven't mixed and matched, but uh, you might be able to do that. So a note on temperatures, the unit itself is rated at 482 degrees, but they don't want direct temperature or direct heat like uh, you know over a burner or the coals itself. So I would suspect that you know if you had it near a smoker, um, let's say you had a metal shelf and you were using your magnet to just keep it on the side of it and your smoking temperatures well below 400, um, it would do okay or maybe in direct sunlight. I think that's what they're really talking about here. I don't think they're suggesting that you put this into the inside of your smoker. That'd be really bad. So I wanted to compare it to my trusty fireboard here, which I've paid well over $150 for. It is Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, cloud enabled. This thing is amazing. It comes with its own charger. You never have to replace the battery because it's internal. Um, I, I can download an app from my cell phone and find out exactly what my meat and my cooker are doing uh, from anywhere in the world, literally. And it comes with eight probes, two of them being an ambient type temperature probe, which I think is pretty cool. So this is what I wanted to use my baseline reference for. Obviously, it's a high-end item. Not everyone's going to be able to get one of these, but I needed to start from somewhere. Now, to bring up the back of the field, I wanted to use my Thermapen Mark IV handheld instant read thermometer. Uh, which is really trusty. Um, I use it a lot. It's easy to hold in your pocket and uh, the, the batteries last forever. So a quick word on temperature accuracy. The Smartro has an advertised accuracy of well below zero all the way up to 212 degrees Fahrenheit, right about two and a half degrees Fahrenheit, plus or minus. So that's the accuracy you're going to get if you're smoking some meat. When we get much above that, it's gonna go up about 50% to about three and a half degrees. Now in comparison, the fireboard has an accuracy of 0.7 in most cooking situations when it comes to smoking meat uh, and grilling. And when you get almost to 400 degrees, it might go up to about 1.7 degrees Fahrenheit plus or minus. And the thermo pen has about the same reading on the uh, accuracy. So now that we've got all that out of the way, I decided to do a test that I've seen other folks do with these uh, thermometers and do an ice water test and a warm or hot water test and I think you'll find the results are very interesting. So I wanted to use the probes at the same time and try to get a reading of both the fireboard and the Smartro at the same time. So the first thing I want to do is dip them in the ice water and uh, Initially, it didn't really seem like there was a much difference in the performance, although the Smartro ST54 seemed to get down to that 32, 30 degree, 32, 33 degree range quicker than the Fireboard. Now the Fireboard seems to lag a little bit, but eventually it gets there uh, not too long after the Smartro. Now the Fireboard gives you decimal readings, the Smartro does not. Now I'm not really sure what the advantage of having decimal degrees is with these cooking thermometers. But hey, you know, if they want that kind of accuracy, more power to them. Then we went over to the warm water. Now this wasn't boiling water. This came out of a water machine. The temperature range of about 125 degrees for like coffee and tea and things like that. So I placed them in there. And again, the Smartro got up there quicker than the Fireboard. Although the Fireboard, once they were, it was there, it gave you that decimal degree accuracy and obviously it probably had better accuracy. And then just to make sure that my eyes weren't uh, deceiving me, right back into the ice water, and once again, that Smartro got down there quicker. So this Smartro is actually behaving damn near just like an instant read thermometer. And to me, that's pretty impressive for 25 bucks. Now, not to be left undone, it was time for that Thermopan Mark IV to make a showing. So right into the ice water it went, not too shabby there. I immediately started reading uh, what temperature I expected it to, and then over to the warm water. Now, there wasn't much time between testing the fireboard and the Smartro. I'd say probably one minute. So I don't think it would have cooled off that much, but I only got a reading of 120, whereas the previous two thermometers were reading about 122. So either that water cooled off in two degrees in about one minute, which I doubt because it was a warm day, or this was actually reading two degrees less. All right, guys, now let's get 
onto what you really want to see, and that's a good cook. So we're going to take this tri-tip that we got here, and we're going to get that thing cooked up on the Weber 22, and then eat. <laughs>